read it out of Psalms. And I'm going to read in the very first Psalm, starting right in the beginning. Lord God, have your word go forth in power and in truth by your spirit. And your, word, your word will not come back void. Have this be planted in the hearts and minds of so many people. All glory and honor to your son, Jesus Christ. Psalm, starting with Psalm 1. How happy is the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path of sinners or join a group of mockers. Instead, his delight is in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. He is like a tree planted beside streams of water that bears its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. going to go over that again. How happy is the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked? This is talking about his people do not follow the advice of of the majority. Don't do it. Or take the path of sinners. Or join a group of mockers. This is talking about the wicked of his people. The sinners of his people. The mockers of his people. Do not go in that way. Get out. If you're in that, get out. Instead, the man who does not follow the advice of what is going on in the churches, his delight is in the Lord's instruction. And he meditates it, meditates on it day and night. get this right so that there's no questions. The one whose delight is in the Lord's instruction, he meditates on the Lord's word each and every day. Each day and each night. Every day and every night. This one is like a tree planted beside streams of water that bears its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. So let's get this right. The one who prospers Whatever he does prospers. It's one that has the Lord's instruction as his delight. And he meditates on his words every day and every night. Only then can you say that this applies to you. Only then. Anything else? You're an heir. The wicked are not like this. True. 
And we're talking about the wicked of his people, the ones that are in the churches. Instead, they're like chaff that the wind blows away. It, it's, it's, it's going to happen. Therefore, the wicked will not survive the judgment. You think you will. You think you're secure. You're not. The wicked will not survive the judgment. Sinners will not be in the community of the righteous. The righteous is only a portion of his people. The righteous is only a remnant. It's only a part. Few, only few, will find that life. Only few. The sinners of his people will not be in that community. Will not be. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous. The Lord watches over his elect. But the way of the wicked leads to ruin. This warning has come to your ears. Psalm 2. Why do the nations rebel and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers conspire together against the Lord and his anointed one. Let us tear off their chains and free ourselves from the restraints. <clears throat> so they think they'd be free. But in their declared freedom, they are in such bondage. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord ridicules them. Then he speaks to them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath. I have consecrated my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will declare the Lord's decree. And he said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me and I will make the nations your inheritance and the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will shatter them like pottery. So now be wise. Receive instruction. Serve the Lord with reverential awe and rejoice with trembling. Pay homage to the Son or he will be angry and you will perish in your rebellion. For his anger may ignite at any moment. All those who take refuge in him are happy. Psalm 3. Lord, how my foes increase. There are many who attack me. Many say about me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. My glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of the thousands of people who have taken their stand against me on every side. Rise up, Lord. Save me, my God. You strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, God, who vindicates me. You freed me from affliction. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, exalted men, will my honor be insulted? How long will you love what is worthless and pursue a lie? His people His 
people love what is worthless. And they continue to pursue lies. There is no hope in the end for you if you continue to do that. Know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. On your bed, reflect in your heart and be still. Offer sacrifices in righteousness and trust in the Lord. Many are saying, who can show us anything good? Look on us with favor, Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and new wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me live in safety. Psalm 5. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my sign. Pay attention to the sound of my cry. My King and my God, for I pray to you. At daybreak, Lord, you hear my voice. At daybreak, I plead my case to you and watch expectantly. For you are not a guy, a, for you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil cannot dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your presence. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who tell lies. The Lord abhors a man of bloodshed and treachery. <clears throat> the Lord would destroy those who tell lies. <clears throat> lies are being told every week in the pulpits. I can verify this. I can tell you plainly. People are told to raise their hand if they want to ask Jesus into their heart. Nowhere in the scriptures, nowhere does it ever say to ask Jesus into your heart. And Jesus would never abide in your heart because your heart is wicked. And it says that the human heart is desperately wicked. The Lord is not going to abide in your heart. <clears throat> Told to raise their hand if they want to, to ask Jesus into their heart. Then they go and pray this 30-second prayer, maybe 20-second prayer. And after this, they say that you are born again and that you're going to heaven because you did that. That is a lie. That's a big lie. Two lies. That they are born again. It's not true. That's not what it takes to be born again. The pastors tell these lies because they don't know either. They're deceived. They don't know what it is to be born again. They've made up this doctrine of man like it's a doctrine of God, and it's not. And then they say, you're going to heaven after you say this 30 second prayer. It's not true. Those are two big lies that go forth. Much of what is being told in the prop in the pulpits is truth. Much of it is truth. When they talk about the Lord and what he went through and what he did. True. 95% of it is true. 
And sometimes I've seen 99% is true. And at the end, they misguide all the people. His people have got to live holy lives, and they're not. When it talks about forsaking all for Jesus, it's talking to his people. But the pastor's excused all the believing congregants <clears> that they, they're safe, they're fine, they're good. And they only single out the unbelievers or the non-believers or the ones who have not, quote, come to Jesus. They do a great disservice to their congregants. Because they are not living as the Lord wants them to live. There is no working out their salvation. There's no working out their salvation with fear and trembling. It's not happening. It's not happening. It needs to be. It needs to be. It's a necessity. It's essential to entering into his kingdom. You think not, it'll be too late. The Lord will bring this war or this warning right up to you in the day of your judgment. It, it will happen. Don't be foolish. The Lord will destroy those who tell lies. The Lord abhors a man of bloodshed and treachery. But I enter your house by the abundance of your faithful love. I bow down toward your holy temple and reverential awe of you. Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my adversaries. Make your way straight before me. For there is nothing reliable in what they say. Nothing. You can't trust whatever they say because in the end, what they're saying is a lie. And it's a big lie. How can you trust anything else what they say? Destruction is within them. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongues. Punish them, God. Let them fall by their own schemes. Drive them out because of their many crimes. For they rebel against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them shout for joy forever. May you shelter them, and may those who love your name boast about you. For you, Lord, bless the righteous one. You surround him with favor like a shield. Psalm 6. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are shaken. My whole being is shaken with terror. And you, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, rescue me, save me because of your faithful love. For there is no remembrance of you in death. Who can thank you and she all? I am weary from my groaning. With my tears I dampen my pillow, drench my bed every night. My eyes are swollen from grief. They grow old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea for help. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and shake with terror. They will turn back and suddenly be disgraced. Psalm 7. Yahweh, my God, I seek refuge in you. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me. 
or they will tear me like a lion, ripping me apart with no one to rescue me. Yahweh, my God, if I have done this, if there is injustice on my hands, if I have done harm to one at peace with me, or have plundered my adversary without cause, may an enemy pursue and overtake me. May he trample me to the ground and leave my honor in dust. Rise up, Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up against the fury of my adversaries. Awake from me. You have ordained a judgment. Let the assembly of peoples <coughs> gather around you. <coughs> Take your seat on high over it. The Lord judges the peoples. Vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness and my integrity. Let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. The one who examines the thoughts and emotions is a righteous God. My shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, and a God who shows his wrath every day. <clears throat> if anyone does not repent, God will sharpen his sword, he has strung his bow, and made it ready. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He tips his arrows with fire. If anyone does not repent, any of his people do not repent, this will happen. See, the wicked one is pregnant with evil, conceives trouble, and gives birth to what? Gives birth to deceit. and deception and deceiving words stream out of the pulpits every week. He dug a pit and hollowed it out and fell into the hole he had made. His trouble comes back on his own head and his violence falls on the top of his head. When this comes to pass, It'll be too late, because it'll be already done. They think I'm not speaking the truth. I am speaking the truth. What gain do I get out of this earthly? None. Why am I saying these things? There's one reason. Because my Lord, my Lord asked me to do this. And I said I will. I will thank the Lord for his righteousness. I will sing about the name of Yahweh, the Most High. Yahweh our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. You have covered the heavens with your majesty. Because of your adversaries, you have established a stronghold from the mouths of children and nursing infants to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I observe your heavens, the work of your fingers, when I observe your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you remember him? the Son of Man, that you look after him. You made him little less than God. You crowned him with glory and honor. And you made him Lord over the work of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all the sheep and oxen, as well as the animals in the wild, the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea that pass through the currents of the seas. Yahweh, our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. I will thank Yahweh with all my heart. I will declare all your wonderful works. I will rejoice and boast about you. I will sing about your name, Most High. When our enemies retreat, they stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my just cause. 
You are seated on your throne as a righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have erased their name forever and ever. And the wicked that are in the book of life, those names are blotted out. The enemy has come to eternal ruin. You have uprooted the cities, and the very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. He executes judgment on the nations with fairness. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you because you have not abandoned those who seek you. Yahweh, you must seek him. You must seek him with all of your heart and all of your soul. That is the only way that you will find him. That's what it says in the scriptures. It's the only way. Don't be fooled. Sing to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim his deeds among the nations. For the one who seeks an accounting for bloodshed remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, Lord. Consider my affliction at the hands of those who hate me. Lift me up from the gates of death so that I may declare all your praises. I will rejoice in your salvation within the gates of daughter Zion. The nations have fallen into the pit they made. Their foot is caught in the net they have concealed. The Lord has revealed himself. He has executed justice, striking down the wicked by the work of their hands. The wicked were returned to Sheol, all the nations that forget God. For the oppressed will not always be forgotten. The hope of the afflicted will not perish forever. Rise up, Lord. Do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Put terror in them, Lord. Let the nations know they are only men. <laughs> <laughs> 